takes the sun almost 24 hours to rise and set on the same horizon. In the rhythm of life, people wake up, eat, work, play and sleep, ready to begin the cycle again. But the financial markets have a different rhythm. London traders get to their desks as Asia is preparing to close. Dubai has long finished lunch as New York starts its morning rituals. And Australia says good day as Frankfurt says good Nacht. The financial market operates 24-7. Globally, the sector is worth $52 trillion and the people who work in the sector need advice every day of the year, every hour of the day and every minute of every hour. With no geographical boundaries, uh, the law firms that work with them need to be nimble, quick and responsive. To use the words of one of our clients, at Simmons & Simmons we're well equipped to deal with these demands by thinking local and acting global. By tradition, the financial sector has been about banking, insurance, asset management and private equity. Banks and financial institutions need advice on new transactions, on employment and on regulation. But in this global market, huge sums of money can move in minutes, and consequently the sector has more demands. Today's client doesn't just want legal advice on transactions or regulations. It's looking to work with a law firm that sees the bigger picture, that understands how a financial product can impact and complement other aspects of its business. And all those issues can affect numerous jurisdictions. Uh, to put it very simply, once upon a time you could only buy your groceries at the supermarket. Today you can furnish your house, obtain a loan, or even get car insurance. This one-stop shopping equally applies to the financial sector. At Simmons & Simmons, we've invested in people to be able to give that holistic approach. We're renowned for our partners' specialist expertise and innovative advice in highly specialized structured capital markets. For example, in our work with Bear Stearns and UBS. Typically, our clients can spend over $100 million a year on legal advice with their panel of lawyers. Those clients come to us because we have the strength they need internationally to operate around the world and because we have a reputation for the quality of our service. I think it's changed hugely. Um, I think it's changed from being um, a, a, an industry which is very much focused on a few uh, geographical centres to being a truly global industry. I think there's a, a whole change in terms of the clients, the types of institutions which are coming up, the rise of private equity and the hedge funds uh, and the niche players really uh, who are focused on particular segments of the market. A lot more sophistication in terms of products, um, more and more complicated products being developed. Um, and um, globalisation in the industry with uh, the major, you know, the really large Citigroup and Bank of America and Deutsche and the massive commercial and investment banks really starting to, to expand throughout the whole of the, uh, of the industry rather than from their sort of home nations, if you like. Conventionally, the sector is made up of investment banks, commercial banks, asset managers, private equity houses and insurance companies. But the lines between each are no longer clear. There's an increasing range of activity within each different financial institution, for example with hedge funds and private equity. Those fading boundary lines are increasing the competition between different market segments. That, together with change to the global marketplace, means companies need legal support they can rely on. Global companies need legal advice in different jurisdictions encompassing different cultures. They need a law firm that understands complex regulatory issues that cut across those borders. The regulatory environment over the last 10 years has changed dramatically. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, the scrutiny that, uh, that major financial services firms find themselves under has increased in intensity. Uh, and consequently, uh, it's uh, an enormous challenge for anybody running those firms who has to be part banker, part lawyer, part uh, PR person, part politician uh, in order to address all of the challenges. In addition, the market is expanding at a huge pace, not just in specialist areas like the growth of Islamic finance or hedge funds, but in structured markets where products are becoming more complicated and multi-layered. Our reputation is outstanding for certain products and advice in this sector, such as structured capital markets, funds, mergers and acquisitions, employment and insurance. But given these challenges, we need to develop and grow more. Going forward, we want to be able to continue to meet the increasingly complicated demands of the sector and to be known for our expertise in far more product areas. Simmons & Simmons will increase our offering 
raising both our international and domestic profile to become the law firm of choice in our specialist areas. While 70% of our income in this sector is generated in London, financial centres, such as here in Amsterdam, are increasingly important. But the biggest opportunities our investors are looking for are in the emerging market products. There's huge focus on emerging Europe, India, China, the Middle East and Latin America. And as our clients move into places like Brazil, the key to our growth is for Simmons & Simmons to go with them. Like the cycles of life, the financial markets have cycles too. Economists work on a 12-year boom and bust cycle or subscribe to the mantra that recession must follow growth. What complicates matters now is the globalization of the markets. While it has always been said that if America sneezes, the rest of the world catches cold, now one germ in any market could result in a global pandemic. This long festering episode is affecting shares, bonds and currency markets. People tend to like to panic and uh, that panic spreads and um, puts a downturn on the market. Well here's where it started, the US housing market. Risky home loans were made, subprime they're called, and they're not being paid back. All our legal work is complex and can be immensely time consuming. But our clients in this sector demand instant attention. It's not uncommon for our Amsterdam office to be asked to act on Monday morning and have to produce a complicated legal solution by the time Hong Kong opens the following day. We have the will and the capability to do this. And this attention to detail will allow us to achieve a long-term strategy of becoming one of the main relationship firms internationally for the financial institution sector's Target 20. With products becoming more complex, the issue of criminal liability is at the forefront of the sector. Getting it wrong, either knowingly or unknowingly, can have devastating consequences. The jury has spoken and they have sent an unmistakable message to boardrooms across the country. You can't lie to shareholders. You can't put yourselves in front of your employees' interests. No matter how rich and powerful you are, you have to play by the rules. The industry changes very, very quickly. I think the clients are very, very demanding, uh, but they're highly sophisticated, uh, very high quality individuals, very bright uh, people who, are, who take their business very, very seriously. They're really on top of their game. Certainly our, our key clients are global um, and they're active across the board uh, and we need to build a relationship with them. For Simmons & Simmons, the financial sector is of vital importance. As it has grown and evolved, so have we. As it has risen to meet new challenges, so too have we. And as it continues to develop, so will we. Simmons & Simmons is a vital partner for the industry, and we will remain so.